I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. Creatures. But for today's episode, we was going to show you a Ferrophosa Sturmy Rehouse. But we're changing up a bit today. So I've got a range of tanks down on the table just below this camera because the camera's on the table on the tripod. Um, but yeah, on the table, we have got many different tanks. Eight. Is it eight? Counted. One, two, One, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of you, sort of, eight Include enclosures. That one. So yeah, eight enclosures on the table. And you're probably thinking why. And well, we're gonna do a little bit of like a, an update video today. So I've been talking about it for a while, you know, like all the past sort of rehouses that we've done. I never really do any update videos, although we're not really doing any updates for that today, are we? No. Mm. Today is more of like an update of things that have happened in the past. Oh, Torx is going mad. I've never actually said we've got a tortoise, have we? <laughs> no. There you go. I've just said that we've got a tortoise. I've never actually showed it on the channel. Anyway, so yeah, um, going off topic. The past week or two, or say up to three weeks, we've had a few things happen in the room. And when I came down here, we was going to record for the Ferrophosa Sturmy. And I was looking at a tank, which is normally placed just here. And it is the Nandu Trepepi. And it was molting, but it just finished its molt. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I realised, you know, we've just had another one recently molt, not an Andrew Trepepe, but a different one. And then we've also had a male come into the collection, a uh, mature male. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a little update video today, or well, me and Charlotte. Um, we're going to show you the male, we're going to show you two tranches that have recently molted. We're going to show you the females that we're going to use the male for. And then we're going to do a little update as requested from someone. Well, actually, two little updates requested. Someone wanted to know how the Samapoas... Oh my god, what is it? <laughs> Samapoas. I'm useless with them. The Darth Maul spider, you know the pair that I got. Someone wanted a little update on them. Um, so we're going to show them off, hopefully feed them a little bit. And then we've also got an ant species down on the table. <clears throat> oh, that was which a lot. Is, that was a lot. <laughs> the Venator ant. We've got the Venator ant down on the table. Now I'm not going to you know, show you a lot of footage on that. I just want to show you a little update on what's been going on with it because it's pretty cool. And uh, that's something that's been requested on the video as well. So I was thinking, we're going to show you this today. And then going forward, we was actually talking, we want to do something like this every little once in a while. You know, because we show these sort of rehouses that we do, and then we show you a little update on the end. But we never actually show you like an update down the line. We never actually tell you like real time of stuff that's happened in the past week um, or anything like that. So I, f I don't know, we'll see how this goes. And we might do a few little update videos in the future just of stuff that's, you know, recently happened, uh, random stuff, just so you guys are all kept up to date. I think that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> so we just want to update more. Yeah. That's, that, that's basically We just it. want to update you guys, because I've had a, a little bit of feedback, and yeah, and I think it mixes it up a little bit. So, you know, if you guys ever have any future suggestions future suggestions of what you want to see you know if you've seen something that I've rehoused a year ago or a couple months ago and like you know drop it down in the comments go you know I want to see a little update for this and I can chuck it into a video like this do you, do you understand where I'm coming from hopefully do I make sense yeah you make sense I think I make sense you do like... tell Charlotte she needs to talk louder <laughs> because she's like yeah, 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 when we you record. just speak so loud my like, voice this is me Speaking as loud as you, but if yeah, like you're speaking, no, you're speaking, no, she's speaking normal though. I guarantee the levels are correct. Mm. But anyway, let me grab the camera. We're gonna that tortoise is on a mad one. Let me grab the camera. We're gonna go down to the table. What should we start with? We could start with the mat. Oh, we'll show you the, the trenches that have recently molted, then we go on to the mail, um, and then we'll show you a few little updates as well. So, yeah, let me grab the camera. Uh, <laughs> see you in a second. So this is exactly what I was talking about. All these tanks on this table we're going to be looking at today. But we're going to start with this tank here, go onto that one, and then we're going to make our way around onto the front. So yeah, let me clear the table quick. I didn't actually think of that. And uh, we'll have a look at these multi-tees first. And also, I want to show you some footage of the Nandu Trepepe because I've got some awesome footage and I think I can do some sort of, you know, like a mix of 
feed slash footage with some music. So you'll see that later on as well, but yeah, let me clear the table. Right, so this Nandu Trapepi, just in this tank here, which is, where's my lens gone? Not my lens, my focus. There you go. In the middle of the screen. You know what? Let's just take this off. That's filthy, look at that. There you go. So you can see the malt is just there, and she was with the malt, but she's now retreated just back there. But she is absolutely stunning. And these are probably my favourite Nandu species. Um, I've only got three, and I think I don't think there's many Nandu species. This has got to be my most favourite. So when I hear Nandu, I just think automatically, well, when you guys hear Nandu, what, what do you guys hear? Because, oh, what is that on me? Got some... It's a dirty web. Some <laughs> dirty web on me. So yeah, I think it's skittish. Is it still on me? Is it off? Okay. okay. Yeah, I think skittish. Um, a Nandu, you know, like the Nandu Chromatis, skittish as hell. My Nandu Coloravatis, Nandu Coloravatis, whatever it is, that's skittish as hell. This though, this has molted with me a few times now, and it's never skittish. This one is brave, and uh, it's just your average sort of New World, your little dose on New World, to be honest. Let's grab that molt out quick. Let's grab some. some. Oh, you got some tweezers. Do you want to grab it out? There we go. So it looks like she's finished with the molt now. Sorry. You dropped it. Look at that. <laughs> hang on, hang on. That is huge. Hang it up to that light. That's it. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Look at that. See how shaky I am. I'm very sorry. That's come off perfectly, isn't it? Do you? It's like yeah. a perfect mold until Charlotte gets her hands on it and rips it. Sorry. What should I do with it? Just put it on the table. You're, you're all good. We'll add it to the malt collection. Every tarantula keeper has a malt collection, am I right? But yeah, she is absolutely stunning. And um, she ain't got a water dish because we took it out. We went to clean it, but we're going to chuck a new one in. Because mowing sucks the life out of them, literally. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. But I was thinking, she's probably going to need a rea soon, I reckon. She's been in there for quite some time now. And, uh, you know, she's a great display species. But I think she needs a new home soon. She hasn't burrowed one bit, though. Like, no digging, nothing. Full-on display. I love it. So let's go on to the next one now. Enough about this one. I will show you some footage of this a bit later on, don't worry. Um, I'm not going to chuck it in now because we've got a lot to see right now. There we go, right, on to the next. Next up, we have the Gramostola in Herigi. And uh, this is a confirmed female, which I can probably double confirm. But let me get the light up a bit closer. She sort of just blends in, I guess. But the malt is just down there. Let me spin this around. There you go. There you go, that's much better. You can see her better now. But yeah, this this was a female that I got from I think BTS like two years ago. We got this one, wasn't it? Pretty sure so, it was, yeah. Because yeah. I was well happy that I found this. But again, a perfect malt just in the corner. And uh, thinking about it, this girl probably deserves a, a new rea soon. Obviously, we need to clean and change that water dish. Another one that doesn't really use our burrow, great display species. Um, she is always out, and she's always out on this area, to be fair. This one I've showed on the channel quite a few times with feeding clips. She is definitely one for great takedowns. Yeah, she say. is. She loves it. But two that have recently molted within the past couple of weeks. This one was a good couple of weeks ago. So I think we can actually probably feed her. Chuck a worm in, Charlotte. Let's do it. There we go. Look at that straight in. You enjoy that little worm. I'll give you some more soon. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean this water dish quick off camera and then we're going to go on to the next. So next up, we've got three tanks on the table just here. Um, as you can tell, well, they're either fossorial or arboreal, but considering the amount of substrate, they're, uh, they're arboreal. 
So this is an arboreal species and it is the Samoporus amernia. Mature male in this one. Just got to add the water dish in. And we've got two females either side. Now this female here, who you guys would have known from my old channel and maybe potentially the new channel, the latest one, maybe a video up there. We'll get onto that in a second. First of all, we're going to show you the mature male. So if we take the lid off, He is just down there. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's his abdomen side just there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I really do like the uh, Piamernia mature mouse because they sort of go a bit, what's the word like, fuzzy? Yeah, they look fuzzy. They do. So there he is just there. They kind of blend in a bit more, don't they? Yeah, they do blend in. That's a bit better. There we go. But yeah, I'm really excited to pair these. And, um, you know, so we, we've actually paired them before. We've actually had an egg sack from them before. And, well, you know what? Let me let me run a little bit of brief history with this one. I'll show you a little bit of footage and then we'll get back into it. We've just been for a journey with this female and uh, I think it's time to try her again. So I've got another female just over there, but I really just want a successful egg sac from this one. I think we can do it. I must say, I'm very nervous. Um, arboreal will be new for me, won't it? I think it will be. I don't think I've done... Oh no, no I, I don't have. know. I've done the... Bambus. That's arboreal, isn't it? Yeah, Taxonus yeah. bambus, yeah. So I have, but this one, this one seems scarier. I don't know why, but I'm slightly nervous to do this bit. 
should be entertaining for you guys. <laughs> right, so let's open these two up. Let's have a look. Um, we need to close this one up first. Move them. We'll sort out your water dish in a little bit. If we start off with that one. So she is just here. And she is beautiful. She is beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. If you have not got a Samopoa Samernia, you need to get one. Um, they're a New World arboreal species and they are just absolutely just amazing. I think these are good starter sort of arboreal tarantulas. Um, all I will say is that, you know, they can jump. They're arboreal. Arboreal tarantulas can jump. Um, you know, we've seen it on my channel, maybe the old channel. Uh, we've had them where they've jumped and, you know, one's jumped off Craig's hand into the actual enclosure. If I've got that, I might show it now quick. But they're just absolute babes. I love them. Absolute babes. And I wanted to try and pair this one. The thing is, out of the two females, I'd, I'd pair it with that one first, um, just in case he ended up getting munched. Mainly because I want a successful egg sack from this female. But if these two go all right, we're going to try it with this female, because why not? So uh, let's have a look at the next enclosure. Let's do it. Look at that. So she ain't scared one bit, she just stayed out. Normally move the enclosure, that's it, they're gone. So this has got to be a familiar tank to most of you. Proper webbed up now, all around the sides. Look at that, she has been in there for a very, very long time. And her home has always been just behind this court park, just here. Look at that, the webbing. Now this is one of my biggest females. She's absolutely huge. But yeah, I, I, I want an egg sack from her, I'm sorry. Really bad. We're gonna try it with this female first. Like I said, then we move on to the next one, if it's successful. You best not let us down. We will do it. You better. <laughs> better. Don't let me down, boy. So next, I just wanted to give you a tiny, tiny little update on the H Venators. Um, so I was a bit worried about these, you know, they were just laying one egg at a time. But if you have a look now, it actually seems like they're doing all right now. I don't want to disturb them for too long. But look at that. So the Darth Maul spider, tarantula, whatever you want to call it, male, female, see? I remember because the, the bigger one is for the female. Hang on, my light's dying. So yeah, female, male. And that, that's how we tell because the bigger one is for the female. But these are always out, if I'm honest, um, at the top of their sort, sort of court bark. But the issue is when you touch them, that's it. Any sort of, you know, touch like that, any movement, they go straight down and they are absolutely rapid. But so far, not much has changed, if I'm honest. They've just webbed up nice with the court bark. Um, the male has done the same, but it's got a little entrance just around there. Um, like when I showed the feeding footage of the last one. And then up here, there's sort of two little holes and it's webbed up in between. So, not much from this one, but I do want to try and feed it today. And you know what? I think we're going to go with Mario worms. If you can try and find some small Mario worms. Let's have a little look. Right, so I've got one Mario worm here. Uh, I, I just want to see. You know what? I'm going to put it at the bottom. We're going to put it down there and we're going to have a look. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I think they're shy, these ones. I reckon it will take it. Come on, you must feel that. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, Look at geez. that, told you. Okay, I'll give you that one. <laughs> Look at that. Go on, boy. Although I don't really want to be feeding you massive large meals. Nice. So let's have a look at the next one. 
So this one is very different because we don't have the top opening. It doesn't actually have a little burrow down there either, like entrance. So we are literally, well, we've just got to try and, this is going to be hard. It's going to be very hard to get it on footage. I think that's going to drop in. Oh, I grabbed it and I didn't get it on camera. Well, I, I got it on camera, but... We didn't actually see you from above. I should have done it from here. Oh, no. Either way, she's taking it. So happy days. I'm happy with that. But yeah, so far, these have been all right. They ain't been too bad for us. Um, You know, when I come down here every morning, like I said, they're always out. Um, and I always look at these. I really actually do like these two spiders in, in this collection. Quite uh, one of my most prized possessions, let's put it that way. I like them too. I'll dig them. But anyway, now I'm going to show you that Nandu Pepe footage and then we'll wrap the video up here. Nice little update, like I said. Just wanted to show you that mature male, to be fair, um, along with them two molten tarantulas. But now, enjoy some of this footage.
So that is all the footage for today's episode, guys. And like I said, I really do hope you've enjoyed how we've put this together because, you know, recording this right now, I don't actually know how well it goes together. But we'll find out. Um, drop it down in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video and if you'd like to see more as well. Because that's the main thing, you know, it's about me enjoying creating these videos. But it's about you guys enjoying it as well. It's a bit of both. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. So if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when we upload next. Don't forget, down in the description, there's a link for our link tree. It's got all our social medias on there. Why are you laughing? Because you're going for it. <laughs> what? See, now she's made me lose track. Uh, Sorry. So That's all my weird. social medias are all our social medias you are on just, there. You just never breathe. Da, 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 da. Um, you never breathe. But Mr. Grindler's done it. <laughs> so it's Mrs. Grindler. And so are all our creatures. Have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace. Bye. Why are you laughing so much, <laughs> man? God's sake. Peace, guys. Oh, my God. Bye.